Hey, welcome back to my August 2009 Lake Huey uh, Lake Report. As always, I'm standing in my full-time residence, my backyard here at uh, the old farmhouse on Highway 11 up at uh, North Kiwi. A lot of folks either call me or they'll stop by my dock and they go, Michael, what is the age of your home that you live in? We know it's the oldest house on the lake. It's the only existing structure like it. You know, what's the age of it? Give me some more history. Well, it was built in 1881 and it lied on the banks of the Kiwi River. Well, it's about about 150 yards just out to my left here is where the, the house, uh, the, where the river used to actually flow past the house. So as the lake filled up, this piece of land here was spared where almost everything on the lake was gone at that time. So it's a, it's a treasure. Uh, my wife and I are just uh, proud to own the, the piece of history that we have here on Lake Kiwi. And like I said, as full-time residents, we really enjoy living here on the north end of the lake and uh, having people stop by and ask about the house and comment on it and come out here and take pictures of it from their boats. So it's a pretty unique place. Let's jump into the numbers for August 2009. Let's talk about waterfront lots. As of today, we're at the we're at the 26th day of August. We have 484 waterfront lots for sale on the lake. Under contract, we have two, and year-to-date sales we have 24 year-to-date sales all year long. So almost out of eight months, we've only averaged about three lots a month closing on the lake so far in 2009. Let's talk about some years prior to 2009 and what has gone on with the sales in those prior years. Let's look at 2008 for an example. Year-to-date sales in 2008 was 35 sales. Well, so we're behind about 11 sales over last year, and 2008 was a pretty tough year here on Lake Kiwi to say the least. 2007, we had 77 waterfront sales. That's, we're talking about just lots now, waterfront lots, 77. 2006. Now, see this right here, 186 back in 2006. But the peak of the market, which was in 2005, this time, year to date, in 2005, we had 258 waterfront lot sales. So you look at 258 in 05 year to date versus 24 year to date in 2009. So you're talking about up, 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 and then whoo dropping way off. So very interesting numbers. 2004, 168. So look at those numbers again. 04, 168 waterfront lot sales. 05, 258. 06, 186. 07, 77. And 08, 35. So you're talking about a, a major roller coaster ride taking off, going to the top in 05, and then really plummeting back down to where we are today. Uh, let's talk about waterfront homes that are on the market. As of today, August 26th, we're at 279 waterfront homes for sale on the lake. We have six under contract as of today, and year-to-date sales is 56 homes year-to-date. All right, so let's look at what we've done in previous years to get an indication of where we're standing going into the, uh, you know, in the third quarter of the year right now. In 2008, we had 49 year-to-date lakefront home sales, 49. So we're actually ahead of, of, of 08. Uh, in 09, so we're ahead, what is that, seven homes this year, so that's a good thing. In 07, we had 66 waterfront homes that sold year to date in 06 to today's date, August 26. In 06, we had 78, and of course, like I mentioned before in the lots, 05 was a banner year. We had 100 even homes that sold year to date in 05, January 1st through August 26th. So if you look at 100 versus 56, you know, the sales there are only down about 50%. But, you know, back then, uh, when you're looking at the lots from 02, 03, 04, 05, you had a lot of speculators that were in town. Well, obviously, when the end of 05, 06 started rolling, or 06 started rolling around, you look at the numbers, they really dropped back down in 06. You know, all those speculators came in, they made all their money, and they left town. So, you know, and, you know, also on the home sales, when you start looking at the home sales, like I said, we're only down 50, a little less than 50 percent from 05, which was 100 sales, to 56 in 09. I mean, it's a, it's a, people now, when they come to the lake, instead of trying to buy dirt and build, because dirt values are still holding pretty strong, they're just not selling, but they're, they're still there in the three dollars $400,000 range for, for a good piece of, of, of raw land, but they can actually come in and typically pick up a nicer home and, and have that home existing, ready to go for less than what it's going to cost to buy that land, put a dock on it, and then build that home. So you're still seeing some, some houses being picked up, especially in the six hundred dollars to $900,000 price point. 
So the houses, we, we're still doing pretty good on the house sales. So overall, we still have a lot of inventory available. Like I mentioned, 484 lots for sale, 279 homes for sale. So until we can get some, like I mentioned last month, until we can get some of this inventory down, our pricing here is going to remain suppressed. Now, if you're a buyer, as I mentioned, I also mentioned this again last month in my July port, if you are a buyer, now is a great time to be looking at that coming in and trying to make offers and pick up a piece of property. Fabulous time on homes and lots. Now, if you're a seller, like I mentioned last month, uh, unless you just have to sell, you know, don't put it on the market. But if you do, uh, pricing is the key. Any incentives you can give, owner financing, that type of situation. So, as always, uh, living here at the lake full time, we got a lot of stuff going on. Get to meet a lot of people and know of a lot of things that might not be on the MLS. So, if you're a buyer out there and and want an agent who knows the lake, pick up the phone and call me, email me. Let me let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what I know that might not be showing available out there in the local real estate market. Uh, if you're a seller, if you have any questions about selling your property, Michael, what's my property worth? Do you think we could sell it? You know, Michael, I'm interested in selling my property, but I don't care about listing it right now. Could you find a buyer for me? Those type of things. Anything like that, pick up the phone and call me. Tell me tell me your situation, whether you're a buyer or seller. We'll talk strategy and see what we can come up with. Once again, thank you for joining me for the August 2009 Lake Kiwi Update, and I look forward to seeing you next month.